Hey guys, it's Danielle. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be planning with this kit from Student Planning from the 5th to the 11th of February 2018 in my Erin Condren Horizontal Planner. So I'm just having a look and seeing how I'm going to use this kit and I wasn't going to use the really thin strips that um, were made for the colourful Erin Condren, but I thought why not, I've got them there. But then as I was peeling up the first one, it tore and then I tried to peel up the second one and the second one... Um, picked up the torn piece of the first one so then I thought no nah, I'm not even going to bother using them because they're just too fiddly to put down and I was a bit disappointed that uh, when I peeled it up it ripped. So now I'm just taking the date cover-ups and I went to put it at the very top of the box and realized I needed to almost leave a space because that's how the kit's designed for that top strip so I just uh, put them in line so that they covered them up perfectly. So I just cut forward to Sunday so you didn't have to watch me put down all the days and I've done that a fair bit in this video to cut it down. It was about 27 minutes worth. So I got it down to just under 6 minutes. Because when I plan, I sort of just take my time, I have a coffee, I often watch other plan with me videos. It's my Sunday morning ritual now. So I'm just taking these decorative full boxes and I'm just putting them in the right hand... Um, right hand box there so just popping them down and I like how they looked and I try and alternate the colors make them look nice I'm just going to take these heart check um, checklists or yeah I guess they'd be called checklists and they cut all right but the heart is very much to the right you know it's like the cut is off they cut through the paper correctly but it's almost like the cut is off and I it sort of bothers me I'm a bit of a not a perfectionist, but I really like things to be very precise and consistent, I guess. And I'm just taking this little, um, I believe you would call that a habit. No, it's a weekly, weekly checkbox. I don't know, but I'm going to use that to track my exercise for the week. And I'm just taking these little cutlery icons. These are ones that I've made and I'm just going to pop them down for the meals for the day, our dinners. I'm just popping down that scallop edge box and another one and these are just to mark two appointments that I've got for the week already. Now that I've put down all the stickers I um, am just having a look and seeing if there's anything else I can use because I never really use the full kit so I just had a look to see if there was anything else that I could sort of put down before I start writing and I think I had used up most of the stickers that I'd wanted to so I'm just going to start writing in for the week. Um, now I started to write in the date and then I didn't like how it looked and then I thought to myself I surely must have some um, date stickers somewhere and I do. I had some from a happy planner. I bought a happy planner I believe two years ago and it was an undated one so it came with full years worth of dates and I had heaps of those and they were clear so it was really good except for I'd already written down the dates for Monday and Tuesday so I just white out over the top of those dates and then just stick them down so I didn't like how that looked but there was nothing I could really do to fix that. So now that all the dates are down, I'm just going to write in my uh, zone cleaning tasks. So just write them down for the day. And I have this little, um, that polka dotted sheet there with my weekly cleaning plan. And I have that and it is, um, it's punched so it slides into my Erin Condren planner. So what I do is I often just have it for the next week. So I don't have it open on that week I've got it on the next week so I can refer back to it because on the front is the task per day and on the back is the tasks per room so what I need to complete for each day 
and it, it's worked out well. So I'm just writing in some appointments as well. Any other little things that I've got to do, like ice trays. I love um, ice in my drinks. So any water or iced coffees, I always like having ice there. So I always try and um, refill my ice trays every two days because I go through a lot of ice because it's quite warm where I live. I live in Queensland, central Queensland. So now I'm just having a look at my monthly spread just to make sure that there's nothing that I may have forgotten. And then I realize that a big thing, Wednesday, every Wednesday is um, my budget day, I guess you can call it. So that's it pretty much for me, guys. I just have a look and make sure I haven't left anything out. Um, please like this video if you enjoyed it. Hope you're having an amazing day wherever you may be. And take care. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.